Good morning. Welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say, and today I'm going to do a tour of our 2019 Cimarron Northstar Four Horse LQ. For those of you that aren't familiar, um, we are located about 30 minutes north of Denver on I-25. We're really easy to access and we have a lot of inventory for you guys to view. So today, we will be going through this stock number 5N180455. So this is one of our 2019 models. So it's been drastically reduced in price. And this trailer is super great for somebody that's looking to haul quite a few horses. It's a four horse with a lot of storage. It has a mid tack, but wants to cut down a little bit on size. So you've got a 10 foot four sh short wall on this trailer. So you're without a slide. So you're really light and fast going down the highway. The empty weight on this trailer is 11,960 pounds. So you're really capable to load this up with horses and haul up and down over the passes. This trailer is 32 feet on the floor. It is seven, seven tall and eight foot wide. So you've got, a lot of, you're, you've got a lot of room to load some of those really big horses that you've got going to those shows. On this trailer, um, we've got it equipped with a hydraulic jack. Makes it really easy to hook up and unload. Um, just at the push of a button, you're good to go. If for any reason you ever left your battery disconnect on and your jack is dead, um, you do have a manual override over in that corner. So you're not going to be just stranded while you're waiting for your battery to charge up. In this battery box here, you do have your battery disconnect switch and two house batteries. And under here you've also got your spare tire. Every tire from Cimarron comes filled with the, they have these little green caps right here. Um, that means they are nitrogen filled. In Colorado, we deal with some pretty severe fluctuations in our weather. So that nitrogen helps stabilize the PSI so your tires aren't starting out cold and getting really hot really fast. You're not getting that expansion and contraction as much as you would if it was just air filled. Um, if you do have a slow leak in a tire or something like that, one's a little low, it is okay to put, put regular air in. Um, just when you take it to the tire store, let them know if you want it filled back up with nitrogen. So every Cimarron trailer comes standard with aluminum wheels um, and they all have a lion's head warranty. So if you get a flat that is not repairable on this trailer, you take a picture and you send it to lion's head within the first year and they will send you a brand new tire. They also come with a two year roadside assistance. So it's a really great program that Cimarron uses for their tires. All right. So, yep, so today, or on these trailers, we've got the wraparound nose. So you've seen the, B, the VP style and the V nose. Um, this is just a much cleaner look. We really like the look of this on our living quarters. All right. Up here, we have an 11 foot power awning. I'll just show you how easy it is to bring it in and out. Just at the push of a button, you've got the ability to bring that awning in and out. So if you have wind, you're not struggling to find your pole and, and dropping the arms and all that with a two-step awning, just as simple as the push of a button. All right. So today, I mentioned that we've got an Outlaw conversion. So this is a Proline by Outlaw. A Proline by Outlaw is produced in the same facility, the same quality of care and of construction that our Outlaws have. It's just more of a, a simplified set of options. So when we do a Proline, you've got a set number of plans that you can pick out and then a set number of color options. So on a Proline, you have the ability to go with a dark, medium, or light stain. Real it's real hardwood cabinetry, so you're not compromising on quality just because you're giving yourself a few less options to pick from. When I say a few less options, 
You've got about five different color options that you can pick from, but the really cool part is that you can pick from any of these options. So if you want the countertops from option three, but the soft touch walls from option five, it's really easy to mix and match so you can get the trailer that you want. We've done a lot of really beautiful Proline trailers. Um, just check out some of our inventory. It's there just because you're limited in the amount, you're not limited in the quality or the style. So one of the reasons that some people will jump up to an outlaw is if they have a really specific plan that they want um, to put through, like they have, they want a really specific floor plan or they want really specific options. In an outlaw, you also get the three year warranty versus a pro line, they limit it to a one. So that's some of the reasons that you can jump up to an outlaw. So on this trailer, 10 foot four short wall, you've got an outlaw, you've got a, you've got a queen memory foam mattress up in the nose. So this is the same size that a lot of people sleep on at home. You're not um, having to sleep on a double or anything like that. You've got a lot of space up here. Plenty of cabinets. Outlaw tries to stuff storage wherever they can. So you've got anywhere that they can put storage, they will. You've got a fold down couch. So if you are traveling with additional people, you've got the ability to have them sleep on this mattress or on this couch. It's really comfortable. And underneath this couch, you do have a 60 gallon fresh water tank. So if you are gonna be out and about and not hooked up to utilities, you do have the ability to bring some water on board. If you don't have a water tank from your, for your horses, you've also got to fill, you can also fill from this tank their buckets and everything going down the road. So it's just really an awesome option to have so you're not stranded if you don't have hookups. So outlaws are built a lot like custom homes. Um, you've got your fuse box right here with your breakers. And if you'll notice, I mean, it's very similar to how you have it set up at home. Right down here, since we do have propane on the, on the trailer, you do have your LP detector. I like to make sure everybody's really safe. We don't need any issues with carbon di dioxide in this trailer. In here, Outlaw does a really great job of making sure that their wiring is single run, they don't like to splice, um, and it's really clean and tucked away. So on an outlaw, you're not gonna see just random wires running every this way and that. They actually have the floor plan for every single trailer they've ever built, and they have a 24-7, 365 day support line. So if you do get in a bind and have the need to have a technician look at your trailer, they can give Outlaw a call and Outlaw can tell them which wire is which and how everything is run. And so those it's, are accessible in that trap door? Yep, so you just need a little screwdriver and you can access them in the trap door. It's just really clean, but also makes the space really usable. So in here, since we do have a sofa, um, some people still like to eat at a table. So right here in this little trap door, you can actually just install, install this single leg table, just really easily slides in there. And then you just pop this one on. So it does swivel, so if you do need to get in and out, it's really easy. And it's really great if you need to do schoolwork on the road, or like I said, eat a meal at a real table. And it matches the countertops, and it matches the countertops which is really great because you don't have just an odd piece sitting out there. Just pops right off and back in it goes. So that's a really simple option to make your traveling experience just a little bit better. If you're like me, you don't want to stub your toes, you just pop that right back in there. It's seamless and easy as can be. All right, so if you're watching TV and you want to watch it from the bed, this TV is on a swivel so that wherever you are, you can be comfortable watching TV 
and then it pushes back in for travel. Clips back there for safety. You've got a two burner cooktop with a hood. Oh, yep. Always make sure you lift up the glass before you use it. And before turning it on. And before turning it on. <laughs> um, and then you've got a hood lamp as well as a hood fan. So if you are cooking bacon, you can get some of those smells out of here. Um, you have a microwave. On an outlaw, you can step up to a convection oven. So if you want to bake cookies or something like that, that might be a reason to upgrade to an outlaw by outlaw. Lots of um, storage in this little trailer, as I mentioned, hardwood cabinetry. Um, trailers have to withstand earthquake conditions going down the road, so they want to make sure everything here is going to last for years and years down the road. We get a lot of trailers in on trade that are Cimarron's with outlaw conversions, and they may be 10, 15, 20 years old, or 10 to 15 years old, um, and they still are in great shape for their age. Um, you're not having to deal with hinges falling off of doors. Since everything is built like your home, it's very easy to maintain it. Under here, you do have your six gallon water heater. So one thing people are always wondering is why don't they do a bigger water heater? There's a couple reasons. These smaller water heaters actually regenerate faster. So if you're taking back-to-back -back showers, um, you don't have to wait an hour or two for the water to heat up on those bigger units. These regenerate really quickly so you can take them back-to-back. -back. As well as that water that's in that water heater, you don't want to have to carry extra weight. Um, so having a smaller water heater allows you to, to save on your weight a little bit. These trailers are big and we want to keep them as light as possible while not, um, not having any issues with quality. All right, so you've got your, your furnace and your AC control right here for your thermostat. So you do have um, a 16,000 BTU furnace and a 13.5 AC with heat strip. You've got, this is, a, this is a great space to heat and cool. You're not gonna have any issues getting the right temperature in this trailer. Right here, Outlaws started equipping things with USB. So a lot, of, a lot of your phones are charged by USB now, so now you have this. You don't have to worry about the bulky end of your charger. Got a big 6.0 refrigerator, so you don't have to worry about that tiny freezer that you have on the 3.0s. You can take a long little vacation in this trailer, stock up on food. One of the great things about having a living quarter is you don't have to um, worry about going out to eat every night. You have everything you need on board. So in this bathroom, you have a big double rod closet to hang all those shirts and show shirts going down the road. Just because you're in a trailer doesn't mean you have to compromise on space. Yep, and then right here, as opposed to that plastic toilet that you'll see in some, some trailers, this is a porcelain toilet like you have at home. Um, so it's not gonna feel janky and, and uh, it's gonna last you a lot longer. Got a big half moon shower. For those that are taller, this is really great because you have that skylight Gives you a little extra headroom. I don't really deal with that issue, but I'm, there's some big, big tall people out there that, that like having that. Got a big medicine cabinet, um, toothpaste, everything can go in there and you're not going to worry about it sliding up and down while you're going down the road. It's all enclosed. And then I mentioned Outlaw does a really great job of making sure everything is really clean and tucked away. Your water pump is located down here. I'll just open this up for you. This is the same plumbing that you use at home. They don't cheap out on anything. They want things to last. And if you'll notice, um, we're standing on a vinyl floor. So one of the things that is really hard on trailers is water. Um, you want to make sure that your trailers don't come in with water damage. That's where you get spongy floors, issues with mold. So Outlaw actually has two pieces of 
of thick marine grade plywood underneath this trailer so you'll notice there's a lot of there's not that hollow sound that you'll hear sometimes when you're stamping on tr on trailers and then this vinyl it actually helps it maintain a little bit more um, integrity against water damage so if you have water sitting on there it's not going to immediately start start getting down to those floors so we try and kind of help prevent anything that we can we can help with all right so on this trailer I mentioned this is really great for storage so we do have a mid tack on this trailer um, so if you do have a lot of stuff you're going to shows and the folding rear tack isn't going to cut it this is a really great option this is a removable saddle rack and we do have a folding rear tack in the back so if you did want to move this back there or get an additional saddle rack that's something that we can easily get our hands on you've got 24 bridle hooks in here everywhere behind it is carpeted so you're not going to be damaging those expensive head stalls um, or the aluminum behind it you won't get that that marking that you will when your bits hit that aluminum um, try and keep this really easy to clean so you've got rubber mats in here that you can just pull out and spray down try and make it as easy maintenance as possible and then we actually have a little walkthrough door so if you needed to get into your horse area say you're using that first stall for storage like some people do we do have this ability as well a lot of people like these mid tacks because they're really great um, to have as a to have as a, more of a mud room so you can actually take your dirty boots off here walk right into the bathroom take a shower without having to chomp, chomp through the living quarters and then blanket bars you have a swing out blanket bar pole so you've got lots lots of places to hang things coming out of this mid tack we like to make it as easy as possible to get in and out of these trailers so you do have a folding step um, so that if you are walking up here with those heavy western saddles you're not going to be struggling to make this jump all the way from here you've got a halfway point to get it, make it really easy to get in and out got a boot box if you've seen my videos you know i love not a boot box sorry you've got a brush box if you've seen my videos you know i love these because they do have holes in them so if you are throwing fly spray or anything like that they tip over and spill like bottles of that tend to do it's really easy just to wash it out without taking it off the actual door all right so here's more of those tires that i mentioned you've got 8k axles underneath this trailer it's rubber torsion um, so you've got plenty of axle underneath it um, you've got your marker lights so that as you're going down the road you know exactly where your trailer is so you can get a good idea at night um, how wide you are we've got big um, bus windows on the hip side so they let in lots of air flow um, if you've got the drop downs down and some some screens in there for the jail bars you can get a lot of air moving in and out for your horses you got some ties here so you can easily tie your horses up and saddle without having to walk all the way around with all your equipment if you'll notice we have our onan 4000 generator running um, it's a gas generator we have a lot of luck with these um, they seem to be really easy to maintain and they run for a long time but i also want you to notice how quiet they are uh, when you're in the living quarters you can't even hear it um, but even back here it's quite a bit quieter it's up on the roof so you're not just dealing with that exhaust hitting your face um, as you're saddling up here so we've got 50 50 rear doors on this trailer we have done a line and insulate on the on the walls so it's got a really clean look very easy to clean you've got your optibrite lights so those are LED lights that throw off so much light. So if you are using this trailer at night, you're not gonna have any trouble. Our roof itself is insulated. So we've got a FiberTech honeycomb roof that is not only strong, but it's sound dampening, it's waterproof, um, and it is pretty dent resistant. 
So I wouldn't recommend doing that with an aluminum sheeted roof. This, this roof is meant to take a beating and withstand a lot of force. We live in hail country and we have had really great luck with these roofs. Um, they've, they've seen up to baseball size hail hit these without damage. So it's a really, really great feature to have. And if you'll notice, I was sweating pretty bad outside, but in here it's nice and cool. If I could touch it on a hot day when the sun is really beating down, you can put your hand right up on that roof without having to pull it away because your hand gets burned. Um, it keeps this area a lot cooler. It's really close to your horse's head, so we want to keep them as cool as possible. So on these trailers, it is eight foot wide. So you will notice you do have the wheel wells in this trailer. Um, they do a really great job of making sure it's really well rounded, really safe for your horses. These kick mats um, actually have a mesh behind them. So if you've got a par or a kicker, they're gonna have a lot harder time peeling this mat away and causing damage because it has a lot more structural in in integrity. <laughs> All right, so right here, I have a cutout of our Cimarron floors. So on our floors, we have four inch centers and this triangle here actually provides additional support. So this is the strongest aluminum floor on the market. You won't find anything that will beat it. But these floors can be a little bit tricky to maintain if you don't take care of them. If you take care of an aluminum floor, they will last you as long as you want. But if you let urine sit on these floors, it'll start to pit and corrode. Um, we have done a video on how to properly maintain your aluminum floors, but we also- I'll post that in the comments. And, she'll po and Cherish will post that in the comments. But if you don't wanna pull mats, um, you don't wanna struggle, you don't, you just don't want to deal with it and you want a little peace of mind that you're not having urine sit on those floors. Another really great option is worm flooring. So this is what we recommend that you put in your Cimarron floors. Um, our Logans have that sure grip self-draining floor, but you don't want to drill holes in the strongest aluminum floor on the market. Um, it doesn't really make sense and you leave yourself, you compromise the integrity a little bit. So. We recommend this because um, the urine can never get down to your aluminum floor, but it provides that same cushioning effect that that polylast will. And all you do is hose this out um, after each use. Your horses are gonna be a little bit more secure on it because they're not, no matter how tight we cut these mats, they're never gonna be 100% perfect. So going down the road, you will get a little bit of slippage. Um, having this in there. They're very secure about where they stand. Um, you don't have to worry about the water. It's really grippy. Um, so this is a great option for your trailers. If you custom order a trailer, um, the Worm Factory is right over by the Cimarron Factory. So we can install it at that time. Or we have a really great company here in, down in Denver that will actually put these floors in for us as well. So. If we do have a trailer that you're interested in, but it doesn't have that worm floor, give us a call and we can probably make it happen. All right, so in this, um, we've got these heavy duty extruded aluminum dividers. You've got the stud divider on the first stall. So if you are using this more as a, as a storage stall on the first one, you're not gonna have buckets and hay bales sliding back into your horse's legs as you're going down the road. Um, these dividers are really heavy duty, but because of the extrusions, you've actually got um, a lot more strength while keeping these a lot lighter. On this one, we've decided to put the padding on there. If you have light colored horses, paints or grays, um, everybody knows that these aluminum will kind of start to show up on your horse's hides as you're, as you're trailing them. So if you've got some nice show horses and you don't want this aluminum rubbing against them, um, this is a great option is to throw some pads on there. It also makes it a little more comfortable as they're shifting back and forth. They're hitting pads versus, versus um, heavy duty aluminum extrusions. Cimarron does their best to make sure that 
these, ho these trailers are as safe for horses as possible. So you won't see any really sharp edges or anything like that. Horses are always trying to kill themselves on something. If you've owned one, you know that. Um, so they try and make it as horse friendly as possible. Everything is nice and rounded off for your horses. You won't come in here and find that they're scraping themselves on a lot of stuff. So on this one, I'm gonna just fold these back just so I can show you guys um, the folding rear tack. So say you want to go down the road um, and bring a four-wheeler along for a time, or you have a horse that's maybe a little bit nervous about loading in a smaller space. This folds back really, really easily. So it's as simple as that. You've get, given yourself a lot more space to load and you know this is really securely pushed back there. So this is a great option. If you do have more than four saddles, um, say you're a trainer, you can throw another removable saddle rack back there. It's already framed in for one. Um, just a really great option. On this door here, you have another, another brush box, more bridle hooks. Like I said, it is rubber matting behind here, so you won't worry about having those bits scrape up the aluminum. One of the great features about this folding rear tack is that if you are going down the road, this last divider will sit nicely back. So you can close this door. without having to take that divider out. So we've added a little bit of length so that that is possible. So you've got an easy angle, sat, or easy angle ladder on this trailer. You've got a nine foot hay rack up above. So if you do need some storage, um, it's a great place to put things. You've also got that Onan generator up top like I was talking about with that platform. So it's really easy to access. The great thing about a Cimarron is you don't have to walk on the roof bows to get around. Um, so you can actually jump up and down on that roof of that trailer without having any issues. Another one of the reasons we love our Cimarrons. Right here, you have the fuel fill for your generator. So if you're at a gas station filling up your truck, just go ahead and fill up your generator as well. So these are heavy, heavy duty drop downs. They have over six inches of framing that you can't see behind this, as well as really heavy duty jail bars. So if you do need to feed your horses going down the road, you can put this all the way down, throw some hay in here, give them some water, and then put this right back up for security. So since these are so heavy duty, they've got some, some pop hold backs here. As long as you have like a mesh or something, I would probably feel pretty comfortable letting these run down the road. Um, you're not gonna deal with the tweaking and the dirt issues that you will on like a piano hinge. And everything's a grease dirt hinge anyways. So just get yourself a grease gun and help maintain those hinges. All right. So you have front escape door on this trailer. Um, so if you need to pop in and out, is a great place for your coolers and everything like that if you've already filled up your mid tack um, you've got lots of space and I just wanted to point out one more thing um, the framing on this these Cimarron's it's a little bit higher but it allows you to stay a little bit more watertight um, so if you do have water running down you have a huge lip that, you're, that that will have to overcome before it gets there to your trailer so drop downs on the on the escape door as well. Under here, you'll notice you have your gray and your black holding tanks. So on our Cimarron's, Outlaws do, do a great job of making sure everything is really tucked up well. Um, so if you're going down the road, you're not just gonna rip off your holding tanks if you hit a, hit a big bump. They do their best to just make sure everything's tucked up and, and ready to go. If you are at a campground, 
You do have the ability to have a city water connection so that you're not having to keep an eye on how much fresh water you have in that tank. You've got your 30 amp connection, so if you've got shore power at a campsite or at somebody's barn, you don't have to run your generator to get access to your AC and your microwave. And then last but not least, this is your fuel fill, or this is your, your water fill for that 60 gallon fresh water tank um, in your trailer. So this is just pull up, throw a hose in there, and you can get, get that all filled up for your journeys. So this is a really great um, value for anybody that's looking for a really high quality brand with a high quality um, conversion. We do have this marked down. If this is just a little bit too long for you, we actually have a used 2019 Cimarron that has the exact same setup in a three horse. So if you wanna get down a little bit on length, we can let you, let you view that one as well. If you guys have any questions, my name is Callie Say. My cell phone number is 970-309-6368. If you have some other questions or just wanna call into our store, you can reach us at 303-684-3400. We'd love to help you out. Love to do any videos for you that you would like to request. So thanks for tuning in.